Hey y'all, it is Tanya at Thrifty Treasures and today I'm going to be doing a vlog video and I'm going to take you guys with me. So let's get the day. Okay y'all, first stop, Goodwill of course. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna show you what I picked up in that Goodwill. I was so bummed the credit slash debit card machine was down, so I had to pay cash. I was like, you guys are taking all my cash for garage sales tomorrow. <laughs> but um, it's okay, I'll get some more, if I have some more. <laughs> okay, so some of you guys know I raise butterflies, monarch butterflies. And right now, um, with me being on steroids, I still look like I'm pregnant, so it really stinks, you guys. So. I've been really enjoying wearing long, you know, flowy tops and uh, not so much the knit tops that are kind of body hugging because it really accentuates my big tummy right now. Um, so I found this really pretty uh, butterfly blouse. Isn't it gorgeous? It's sheer and I'm probably just going to wear like a black tank top under it. But whenever I saw these butterflies, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. So it was like, um, the new color is red this week, so it was $5.99, so I paid full price for it, but um, I had to have it. It was butterflies. <laughs> and then I got this um, really pretty Lillian Vernon scarf. It's just gorgeous. I did find some flaws on it as far as color, color goes. Um, let's see, I don't know if you guys can see that. Some little imperfections there in the material. I don't know if somebody got something on it, which is probably the case there and then there's one more spot so <clears throat> I might just keep this for myself uh, but what I do like to do with the scarves is whenever I take breakables out to my antique booth instead of using <clears throat> like newspaper or newsprint or something like that I like to um, I like to wrap stuff up in scarves so that way it doesn't get broken and I bring um, uh, lowering my what's it called your footprint not your footprint but your your no your earth print your carbon print something like that <laughs> for the earth I'm not wasting paper you guys I'm recycling and I'm using my scarves over and over again so um, they're like totally multi-purpose so I can wear them if I want or I can use them to um, wrap my stuff up in so it doesn't get broke when I'm headed to my booth 
Um, or they make great photo backdrops too. I mean, the use for them is just endless. You could wear them on your head. <laughs> so yeah, and then I picked up, uh, I'm not sure I'm saying this right, but I'm gonna attempt it, Minnetonka boots. They are brown suede with this awesome fringe here. And they were, um, they were $9.99. But I couldn't resist. I slipped my foot in it and they fit. <laughs> I know they're probably a little young for me to be wearing, but they're so cute. And I tried them on and they're amazingly comfortable. These boots are just, I mean, it's incredible how comfortable they are. So I don't know what in the world I would ever wear them with. <laughs> so I might just sell them. I did look online at some comps and it looks like I might be able to get about $50 for these. So We'll see, I might list them and not put a best offer. So if I get full, full asking price, then um, I might sell them. But yeah, so that was Goodwill. Now the next stop is my jeweler. So um, if you guys watched one of my videos recently, I can't remember, it was from a couple days ago, but I was going to list this coin pendant. Um, I think we're kind of, probably not able to see. There you can see it a little bit better. So I was going to list this the other day and it says 925 on the bill, but then there's also something right above it and I can't make it out. So I acid tested it, some kind of fuzz or something. I acid tested it and it tested positive for 10 karat gold. So I thought I would take it to my jeweler and see what he says. Now I did try to go to the jeweler yesterday and um, their hours had changed. So um, I'm going to go back right now. They're definitely open and we'll uh, see what he says. Well, heck fire. <laughs> so I went to see the jeweler and um, turns out it is not 10 karat gold. What happened was I told him everything that I had done, how I tested and whatnot. And he said that sometimes 10 karat gold acid can be really tricky, like give false readings. Let me turn around. So um, what happened was he gave me a quick little lesson, <laughs> which I was happy to have. So whenever you rub a piece of gold, and if it is really 10 karat gold, if you use the 14 karat gold acid on it, it's going to turn a really dark brown color. So um, that's good to know. So I probably won't be using the 10 karat acid anymore. They said really anything below 14 karat acid uh, can, can give false readings like that. So yeah, bummer. So I'm probably just going to put it on eBay, do an auction for about 25 bucks. And we'll see what happens. But as long as I'm sitting here, after I left there, I did see a garage sale I went to real quick. So I picked up this vintage flower brooch. It's definitely the vintage 60s kind, like the flower power type. <laughs> it's a little dirty, but um, it's still really cute. And then I got for $2, I got this really pretty pearl cameo choker. So I'm excited about this. It's really pretty, huh? Um, I'll probably definitely put this on Etsy. I don't know how much for you. I'd have to look at some comps, but yeah, I thought it was really unique and um, gorgeous. I don't even know if it's signed or anything. I don't think that it is, but yeah, not too bad for two bucks, huh? Okay, so next stop is I'm going over to, there's an auction house in Lake City uh, where I live, and I am gonna be going over there, and I actually won some stuff, and I'm gonna try my hand at selling some stuff too. So here comes a truck behind me. Um, so yeah, I'm headed over there now <laughs> and I'll try and take some video on there so you guys can see.
Okay, so real quick, this is what I won. Um, I got uh, some glass here. It is five pieces. So I have some ideas. I'm going to use these for my antique booth. I might actually keep this. I think it's really pretty for my rings. I've never seen one um, quite this intricate. And then I did, I did pick up some rocks. You guys know I love the rocks and gemstones and stuff. So, um, yeah. I have to open this bag and show you guys. Okay, so that was a lot of fun, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I picked up my stuff and actually dropped off a couple things I want to sell. I didn't drop off a whole lot because I'm just kind of getting my feel for it, trying it out first before I just dump stuff on them. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm excited. So, um, I'll have to let y'all know how that goes uh, next week. So, and then also I was trying to take a video of the preview, what's on sale right now. And... Freaking Billy Squire was blaring in the background, like, bah! so yeah, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to upload that without getting copyright infringement. We'll see. <laughs> so now I am on my way over to drop some consignment, some clothing and shoes that's just been, I've been selling forever that's just not moving or been up for sale forever, rather. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna run over there. I'll show you guys whatever, whatever, what, Jesus, I cannot talk. Okay, shouldn't use God's name in vain. My mother would kill me if she heard me say that. Okay, let's start all over. I will show you guys what I am consigning today once I stop the car and approach the store. But yeah, uh, I just picked up some canes for lunch. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. But you guys, they have the best lemonade in the whole wide world. I love their lemonade, it's so good. So, all right, I'll film some more whenever I get to the consignment place. <laughs> okay, so I'm at the consignment shop. I'm dropping off a little dress, some shirts, some plus size shirts that have been up for sale forever and a day. And I'm not selling, some of it's my personal stuff. Some pants, a suit. And then I've got been here forever since two two, two months well the second okay so I just dropped off consignment and um, usually I end up getting a check from them about the second week of the month the second week of the month yeah so now I'm headed over to one more little resale shop I haven't been to in a while thought we'd go check it out and then it is Manny Petty Manny it's Manny Panty Day <laughs> it's Manny Petty Day so I'm gonna get um I'm gonna change out my nail color I'm thinking about getting pink instead of the French I have the French for two months now so I think I'm gonna change that up and do something fun for spring and can maybe get pink I haven't made up my mind if I want to get like hot pink or I want to get like uh, like baby pink pastel pink I don't know I'm leaning towards the pastel pink but, um, so yeah, I'll have to show you guys whenever I'm done, whatever I decided. <laughs> so let's go check out this little thrift shop real quick. Hi. Welcome.
Okay, real quick what I got inside that store. I got this neat little uh, brooch, the mirror with a lady on there and I paid $3 for it and it's marked AJC. I've done really well with AJC brooches in the past, so for $3, I got that. And then I got, the other one fell off in the bag and it didn't have a back on it, but these little goofy earrings. And I paid $3 for these. I haven't looked up any comps or anything to see what they might go for, but they look vintage to me. So we'll see. And then normally um, I wouldn't pick up a bracelet like this. It's Anne Klein. And at first I thought it was like some kind of a nautical bracelet. I thought those were like seashells when I looked at it in the case. Um, but it is marked AK and I paid $4 for it. And the reason I went ahead and picked it up is just this morning, I sold a pair of Anne Klein earrings, uh, little fishy gold earrings for like $23 on Etsy. So apparently, you know, there's people out there looking for the Anne Klein stuff. Um, I know that Anne Klein does sell, but like, I, you know, normally when I think of Anne Klein, I think of like the, um, the gold lion stuff selling because that always sells really good for me. But yeah, here it is again. It's real pretty. So I'll get that listed. And then I got this uh, letter T, it was 75 cents. And I usually buy these at Hobby Lobby and I do make altered letters, you guys. And I make them like with the scrapbook paper. And um, sometimes I bejewel them, put jewels on them and stuff. So yeah, if anybody wants some letters or a word or something like that, let me know and we can work something out. I can make some for you. But yeah, I enjoy doing it. It's, it's like a hobby of mine, a craft. It's very leisure for me. Like <laughs> untangling a big pile of jewelry does not, you know, de-stress me. That just stresses me out even more. But doing something like this, crafting, I really enjoy it and it really relaxes me. So that, and then I know I said I'm not selling clothing anymore, but I saw this Coogee little uh, hoodie and it was only $4. It was a size extra large. So I went ahead and pick, picked it up. So let's see. This is the front of it. And then the sides have all markings too. And it says Kuji Couture on it. So yeah, for four bucks, I thought, I haven't looked up any comp chat or anything, so I'll have to check that out. And then I just got like some old National Geographic magazines. Uh, sometimes Madeline likes to look at that. There, there were some space ones. So she loves space. She's fascinated with it. So I thought she'd like to look at this. Oh, and I got this. I always pick these up. This is a little glass heart-shaped uh, jewelry box. And it was a dollar and so I like to pick these up I do a lot of giveaways and I like to put jewelry inside here to send to the winner so yeah oh and while I'm thinking about it before I forget I want to give a shout out to Catherine um, she actually sent this pretty angel bracelet to me last summer I love it and um, it's a lot of fun to wear and she also sent me some really pretty uh, natural healing stones too so thank you so much for that I really appreciate that and um and now i'm off to uh the spa place so we'll see what uh nail color I end up going with <laughs> i'm done guess what color i got pink <laughs> so pink nails for the month of april to come i'm so excited about that it's really a big change for me i'm used to doing the lighter colors so this is a little bit darker something different um, but anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and share it with your friends. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.